Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us begin with the intercession of Mother Mary. Let's say one Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift our hands and praise. Can we just lift our hands? Hallelujah. 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 So the Advent is also a reminder for us to prepare for baby Jesus, who is about to come in our lives, to repent and to hope in Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is also an invitation to come out of sinfulness. It's an invitation to come out and uh, refocus on the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is not only uh, waiting for some gifts or something. Christmas is not about gifts, but it's waiting for something else. A spiritual desire. We should have some spiritual gift what we should ask God. Isn't it? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the Gospel of Luke, there are two characters who are waiting for this. They are not very famous during Christmas. Who are those? Anyone knows? Yeah, no one knows? Simeon and Anna. All of them? They were waiting for the Lord, for the Messiah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What was Simeon waiting for? He was waiting for comfort. Let's look in Luke chapter 2 verse 25. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was upon him. Simon was righteous before people and he was devout in his relationship with God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So things were not going well in Israel. So Israelites were under whom? The rule of the Romans. And there was a very crafty ruler, the king, Herod. And he was uh, crooked and also wicked. So uh, there was a lot of fear and they were waiting. God was not speaking to them for a long, long time, right? They were waiting for the Messiah to come. And uh, Simeon also was waiting. They he needed a comfort from the Messiah, Messiah. And he was waiting for the king to come and return and uh, set them free from this captivity as well. So he was waiting for that comfort. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was anticipating that uh, the Messiah will come. And he was filled with the Holy Spirit. And when he saw the, the baby Jesus, he knew this is the Messiah. How did he know? Because he was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guided him that this is the Messiah that he is waiting for. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And who's the second one? Anna. Anna had uh, lost her husband and she had dedicated herself in the temple. And uh, she was day and night praying, praising and worshipping God and waiting. And what she was waiting for? She was waiting for the forgiveness. Let's see the verse. If you see in uh, verse 38, see uh, Luke chapter 2 verse 38. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Redemption, forgiveness, to ask forgiveness from God, they were, they were waiting for. So these, these people were waiting for the Messiah. Are we waiting for the Messiah to come in our lives? Very few people. Loudly. Yes. Are we waiting for the Messiah? Yes. He's already come once, we are waiting for the second coming, isn't it? Yes. So in this Christmas, let us ponder upon the Messiah for us to be born in our lives, in our homes. So let us close our eyes for a moment. Let us invite Him in our midst. Let, it, let Him be born in our hearts, not in a manger, in a crib, just uh, as a showpiece. Let us pray that God, Jesus, you be born in our hearts, renew our strength, and help us to realize that you are our Messiah. You have come to redeem us. 
to account so that we will have new life, life in its fullness. Lord, at this very moment, all the anxieties, all the pains and worries, I keep it up to you, Lord. And I, I wait for you, Lord, to come in my life so that my life will be renewed. Lord Jesus, let your spirit descend upon me uh, right now as you fill Simeon and Anna and make them realize that you are the Messiah. Fill me Lord with the Holy Spirit so that I will be able to understand the plans you have for me. The pains and worries that I am going through right now then help me Lord, give me the grace to carry on this with these pains. Lord, take away every sickness in my body as we worship you and praise you, Lord, let your presence be here. Let us lift our hands and praise him again. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, we praise you, Jesus. Our Lord and our Lord, we bless you, Lord. 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 We have a wonderful hymn to praise him and worship him. The Lord, let us see the lyrics. And few actions I will teach you. So this is a season of love. But why I shout about us? So the first was you are my love. How will you show love? You can show your show our heart, right? You are my love. Come on, let's do it. You are my love. And you are my light. You can take both your hands. You are my light. And you are my purpose for living. Right? And you are my hope in the night. Right? When you are scared, you are the you know, hope. And you are the reason for my singing. You can do it. Take a mic off your own. Come on. Sing, sing. Lift your hands and sing. Let's go to the next uh, verses. You bring the joy of my life. You can. Joy. Full joy. And you, can, you make it better and better. Yeah, it goes up, it doesn't go down. And I thank you for ever. Say, you bring the joy to my life. 